It's finally here, Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. What's up guys, we're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. In this video, we have the long-awaited, much-anticipated Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. I'm super excited to open this. I've done a few videos talking about what we've seen and what we've speculated on, but now we finally get to see them in person. So what I have here is a display, which there are four of these in a case. So inside, I think we're gonna get five or six of the ones that you saw the uh, early openings for. It means we're gonna get a bunch of different packs. So let's just go ahead and crack into it. The giveaway for this video will be every card we pull in this video, including the 25th anniversary secret rares. Let's get into it. All right, so a quick view inside. We do get five of these legendary collection boxes, which means we're gonna get five 25th anniversary secret rares. We're gonna get it's, you know, five times six total packs. So we're gonna get 30 packs inside. So pretty sweet. These are basically packaged in the same formatting as like gold series where you get four of the displays per case. And then inside you get five of the mini boxes. But instead of like gold series where you only get like three or four packs, it's here we get six packs. So it's a lot different there. We're gonna open this up. Let's, okay, all the packs are kind of like that. Is Oh, there's our promo inside. Don't forget that. Kind of the most interesting part here. I mean, well, maybe. It depends on if you like those reprints or not. Okay, so first of all, we're going to save our promo for the end of these six packs. Let's see what we can get. So we have our 25th anniversary. They are labeled with the 25th anniversary logo on the packs. So all of those look like... We'll give you guys a quick look at these. And for the first time at least, let's do our order. Of course, Metal Raiders. Got to be back there. Let's do a little bit of this action. You know, something like this. All right, Dark Crisis. Here we go. Let's see what these new cards look like because we saw already that they're going to have a little bit. Oh, yeah, they look like the new cards. Very interesting. Oh, Jama Trio. Let me know in the comments what you think about that, guys. Also, to enter the giveaway, I forgot to say, just, uh, you know, leave a comment down below if you're from the dark. DD Warrior Lady. So we already have a super rare with the new printing. Looks so much different. It's very interesting. All right. I was trying to find the exact DD Warrior Lady, like an old school one, so I could compare, but I don't know where I put them. Here's another old school card. So we kind of see the difference here. So this is a Metal Raiders card. So it's not the exact same set. Maybe if I could find, we could pull like a Kazijin, that'd be great. But as you can see, like the new foil, it, it's a little bit different, you know? Uh, the, the overall card like type is a little bit different. They've changed it all. I mean, as you can see, it's a little darker on the border, stuff like that, but not a huge overall change, but it definitely looks a lot more like a new card than it does like an old school card. But hey, we'll take it a super rare already. That is not bad at all. Let's see if we can continue that luck and pull something crazy. We have Sonic Bird, Fairy's Hand Mirror, Tyone number two, Ceremonial Bell, Gravekeeper Servant, Spear Cretan, Twin Long Rods number two, Mystic Tomato, and an Upstart Goblin. So Upstart Goblin, another reprint for that. Pretty nice card. Probably not going to be a dollar anymore now that there's so many flooding the market. Pharaoh Servant up next. What will we pull? Will it be an epic Jinzo? If you guys haven't seen the secret rares in here, they look really, really nice because they're more like the Speed Duel secret rare, which you guys know I really like because it's the new print. It's pretty 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 i could say and we have a bubonic vermin so not that time just one foil so far all right invasion of chaos also i am gonna have a link down below to sassiato's uh orders if you guys want to pre-order some of this because i think it is about to come out so it's technically still a pre-order but you'll be able to buy it there as well whenever it comes out lord poison inferno brickle fairy dark Triceratops, and an ojama delta hurricane all right here we go kumutoko fiend reflection number two basic insect Umi, Succubus Knight, Beast Fangs, Numiruko, Flower Wolf, and right leg of the Forbidden One, Legend of Blue Eyes. That is so weird. It looks like it's a legendary collection print or something. It looks so much different. Ultra Rare from LOB. Final pack. This has been a pretty good one. We've got an Aditi Warrior Lady and a right leg of the Forbidden One. Let's go. One, two, three. Can we pull something? So I like how it's only one, two, three from the back. I don't have to do any weird pack tricks. You don't have to like the Cousin Moth has been pulled. We will be setting that aside. One of the best. Yadukaru, Jiraigumo. Oh, and the Pequeno Moth in the very first Metal Raiders pack. More access to Pequeno Moth. Good job, Konami. You've crushed this product. Magician of Faith and Block Attack. All right, our first set of promos. Here we go. We know it's not a God card because the back would kind of give that away. So we know it's either Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, or Dark Magician. I'm open for Blue Eyes personally. Let's see what we can get. We have, of course, the regular promos, the God Cards, and Dragon Raw, very cool. Blue Eyes by Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and the 
Dark Magician. Check this card out. Wow, that thing is shiny. All right, guys, I want to compare this to a regular Starlight since, uh, you know, there's so much contention around them. Okay, let's see. So this one is a much like the lines are really big. Like they're super shot. Like it looks like a tic-tac-toe board on here versus here. It's a lot more like small lines going. So it does have a different look to it. Of course, there's a gold lettering on the Dark Magician, silver lettering on the Exodia, so a little bit different there. Then of course the stamp is different. So these are not the exact same. That is nice at least, they look a little different. I mean, obviously they're very similar. These are even more shiny than the Starlights, which is a good or a bad thing, depending on who you are. But overall, a very pretty looking card. Gonna be a nice collection for people. I'm excited for the other 25th anniversary secret rares as well. But uh, you guys can uh, win all of these, by the way. So that could be yours. All right, next box. Let's see what we can get uh we got to start off with the old spell ruler let's do that see if we can pull a relinquished in the new print here we go one two three rising air current high tide Gyojin, mystic plasma zone giant turtle curse of fiend reliable guardian eternal rest darth maul karate man and the metal fish so yeah just the fish of metal what will we get out of dark crisis what will we pull out of this second legendary collection mini box this is pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. It's interesting because these cards look so much different, but it's still really fun. Battle Scarred, we have a Shadow Knight Archfiend, Wicked Breaking Flamberg Bow, and an Acrobat Monkey. Still searching for that epic secret rare card. We wanna at least pull one because the secret rares look really, really nice. What will we get out of Jinzo? See what I did there? What will we get out of Jinzo? Will it be a Jinzo? Come on, upside down. Ooh, just like the old school cards. Nobleman and... Flying Kamakiri numero dos. Not a good start so far, guys. Invasion of Chaos could turn it around. How good is the Chaos Ember Dragon gonna look? It's gonna have the errata, unfortunately. So that's gonna make it a little, it's not gonna be the old school power, but it's gonna be beautiful on the Secret Rare if we can pull a Pinch Hopper, Ultra Evolution Pill, and Tower of Babel. Legend of Blue Eyes, we've already pulled, what was it, right leg? Yeah, right leg of the Forbidden One. Let's see if we can pull something else crazy. Will it be the Beaver Warrior? Petite Dragon, cool, Yurabi. Electro Whip, King Fog, Hitatsumi Giant, Rude Water, Dark Fire Dragon, and Dark Gray. When you see normal, you get excited, but then you realize there's a lot of normals in Legend of Blue Eyes. And finally, Metal Raiders, our favorite set. We already pulled the Pequeno and the Cousin Moth. Now we just need the Grande Moth. I guess the Cocoon could be cool as well. Queen's Double, Protector, Armored Zombie. What's that defense? No, is that armor doing? Okay, Ancient Lizard Warrior, we have Hiyasube, Mask of Darkness, and Baby Dragon. That was an offer of a back. That's six straight with no foil. Okay, this looks like it's not a guard card either. Which one will it be? We have Obelisk, Slifer, Wing Dragon of Raw, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. There we go, Red Eyes and Dark Magician together we won't be able to get the whole set in here because there's six different ones there's like five boxes but we might get close three boxes let's go let's see what we can get will it be epic will it be awesome we have dark scorpion the gaku guy or panda altar for tribute falling down morale boost really eternal rest guardian case dark scorpion combination and dark master zork super rare another super we have two supers and one ultra so far not terrible not great at the same time we're looking for a secret rare that's what we really want from these old school reprints gaia power electric snake by the way we didn't mention in this specific video no 20, 25th anniversary logo or uh even a set code cyber jar and Jake and Bakuten, but that is not really a big deal. It has EN, which EN was already a thing in 2004, 2005, and Master Collection Forbidden Legacy. But these are very easily differentiated from those, obviously, because I showed you guys just a second ago. These cards look like new cards. They don't look like the old cards. We talked about this in a separate video, but I figured I'd mention it in this one while we're opening as well. Burning Land, Twin Ed Fire Dragon, Light Force Sword, and Island Turtle. All right, Invasion of Chaos, here we go. Old school packs on deck. Pretty epic. It's a fun to open this old school stuff. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this set. Are you excited for 25th anniversary rarity? Are you excited for the new erratas or the, uh, you know, the original, not the original text so you can actually play with them? Are you not excited about that? Do you think that's a bummer because it's not old school? you think uh, Starlight's uh, should have been exclusive or do you think that 25th anniversary rarity is cool? Let me know. A lot of questions about this product. I'm excited about it though. Hard armor, metal dragon, and a trihorn dragon. Wait, whoa. Mess up the pack trick somehow. Trihorn dragon secret rare. All right, guys, I found a few things to compare it to. So, first of all, I have a very old, this might even be a 
I can't tell. Uh, maybe it's not wavy. This isn't original. Obviously, it's got damage to it, but secret rare trihorn dragon you compare this og unlimited this is like old school old school to this i mean e e even the untrained eye you might have never seen trihorn in your life you can see a huge difference between these two cards and that's because this is a 2002 original print and this is a 2023 25th anniversary reprint huge difference and along the way they slowly slowly start looking more and more like each other but this is like the polar opposites right here and then i also found some more right leg of the forbidden one so we have three different ones can you guys tell which one is which give you a couple seconds so this is the 25th anniversary very very different this is the 2017 reprint so this is a reprint as well and then this is an old probably i would guess a 2003 10 or a unlimited print they're very very similar they look basically the exact same so 2003 10 uh, if you open a 10, you pulled it out of Legend Blue Eyes or an unlimited booster box. So as you can see, they all have a little bit of a different sheen to them, a little bit of a different color. This is the old style, but it has that lighter color. This is the new style and also a lighter color. So it's very, very easy to tell these. All right, guys, last pack after that little tutorial, you know, of old prints and stuff like that. So you guys can be acclimated with those. Let's see what Metal Raiders has. Pumpkin, Insect Soldiers, Will It Have Another Pequeno, Rocco Regrotto, Kaminari Attack, Stimpak, Harpy Lady, Little Chimera, and the Leo Gun. And now we have our pack. So I saw what's on the back. So I, I'll spoil it for you. It is a God card because I saw the color. I don't want to spoil it for you guys though. So we're going to open it like this. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. We have the Slifer, Wing Dragon of Raw, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. Very beautiful. I personally think the Obelisk looks the best. I saw Obelisk be pulled, and it looks amazing. So I hope we can pull that one today. Okay, two more boxes. So far, we've pulled four foils out of... How many packs is that? 18 packs. So, yeah, still not crazy great pull rates. They, they may have made them new style. They didn't make them new pull rates, that's for sure. Okay, this time I didn't spoil myself because I didn't look at the back of that. So we're good to go there. All right, Dark Crisis, let's go. Two more boxes. What will we pull? Some old school reprints have been released. 25th anniversary. This is only the beginning of the 25th anniversary celebration, though, because they have so many different 25th anniversary products. Whoa! Judgment of Anubis. Okay, so whenever we get a secret rare, the pack trick is four from the back. That's very interesting. It adds an extra one after that. Judgment of Anubis. Beautiful secret. Not worth much at all, but a very, very nice looking card. The secret rares look incredible out of here try one looks a little bit better though all right magic ruler aka spell ruler now let's see what we can pull for you we have molten destruction flash assailant gaia power i can't pull the cards octoburster umiruka whiptail commencement manga and guardian of the throne room i wonder if i don't think the foils had an extra card at the end i don't know it's the pack trick like that it's weird the first two secrets have had an interesting pack trick we have bombardment beetle four star ladybug we got oh rucks and special is that our first of the day Driving Snow, I'm running into my tripod here. We're struggling. Tag and receive. We have a uh, Morphing Jar number two and Giafree, the Iron Knight. So it was the last card. So secret rares move around for some reason. Giafree, not a bad pull. We've got a secret and a super out of these first three packs of this one already, which is pretty wild. Let's see, Self-Destruct Button, Energy Drain, Chaos Necromancer, Blast in the Ruins, Gigantes, Zero Gravity, A Hero Emerges, Getsufuma, and a Sacred Crane. Sacred Crane, feel the pain. No, that's a different one. Different one. That's Ancient Brain. Ancient Brain. All right. One, two, three. Will we get... Can we get a Blue Eyes White Dragon? Legendary Sword, Green Phantom King, Remove Trap, Skull Servant, Laser Cannon Armor, Masaki, Stop Defense, and a Dark Hole. Very, very cool. Super rare. That's a classic super right there. I was just thinking, I realized the other day, TCG Player had a whole other section for 25th anniversary. So normally you would go into LOB and list your stuff. They have a LOB 25th anniversary. And that's when I was like, hmm, I wonder how much different these are. Cocoon for the moth. Very nice. I was like, I wonder if they're a lot different. Wait, there's two cards left after the rare. Okay, this must be a secret. Is that what this means? Dark Elf, we have... No, it's a Mirror Force. So it looks like it's just kind of random if it's the second to last or the last card. Mirror Force Ultra Rare. We have pulled some crazy cards so far, guys. Two secrets, two ultras, four supers. Not bad at all. That was a really good mini box. Okay, can we pull the Obelisk, the Tormentor? I mean, we pull one right here, obviously, but we want the big one, the 25th anniversary. I see some sheen from that 25th anniversary rarity. Here we go. Obelisk. Slifer, Winged Dragon of Raw, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and another Winged Dragon of Raw. 
All right, cool stuff, but we have one more legendary collection. Let's do this. Let's see if we can get that obelisk out of here. So, so far, we haven't pulled the blue eyes obelisk or slifer. Will we pull something incredible here? Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? So far, it's been pretty epic. I mean, we want to turn it up, though, to the next level. With a mirror force, that was pretty good. Can we get a secret rare here? We have final countdown. Good reaper for that. It was an expensive common. Falling down, arsenal summoner, Kelbeck. Twin Swords, Different Dimension Gate, and uh, Archfiend's Roar. You know what I realized? They reprinted Skill Drain again. <laughs> it's been reprinted a million times. Same thing with Manju. It's been hit, they've hit those cards so many times, and now they've got another reprint because of all these new packs. Liquid Beast, Koto Dama, Gaia Power. Let's go. Fire Kraken, Hungry Burger. There he is. Pull out the Hungry Burger for Hungry Burger support coming up. Labyrinth Wall, Mother Grizzly, and Mechanical Snail. Four packs to go, Pharaoh Servant, Jinzo, please appear to us. Secret Rare, we have Numinous Healer, Four Star Lady Book of Doom, Wing Weaver, Solomon's Law Book, I can't grab, look at that, do you see that? I missed it four times. Dark Bat, Attack and Receive, Vampire Baby, and Sword Hunter, a cool common, but guess what? He's not a foil. Three packs left, Invasion of Chaos. Have we gotten anything out of Invasion of Chaos yet? I don't think we have. It's been chaotically bad. Amphibious Bugroth, Torpedo Fish, Thing in the Crater, Ojama Yellow, Stealth Bird, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Molten Zombie, Ultra Evolution Pill, and a Trap Jammer. We got a super rare, we'll take it. Trap Jammer, who's jamming those traps these days? Nobody. Two packs to go, Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, one, two, three. Will it be the Blue Eyes, 13th Grave, Power of Kaishin, Kagamusha, Rayan Tempatura, Sparks, Petite Angel, Mystical Moon, Dragon Capture Jar, and the Fire Grass. The grass is on fire. Our final pack, Metal Raiders. Will it contain the great Grande Moth, Gate Guardian, Summon Skull, Bee Skull? Let's find out. Blackland Fire Dragon, Insect Soldiers, Kaminari Attack, Faceless Mage, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Oh, that was not the Labyrinth of Nightmare. Blade Fly, and... Bump King, the King of Ghosts. Was that an O for one? No, Trap Jammer. Trap Jammer saved us. And our final 25th anniversary secret rare. Here we go. On my final for today, there will be more of this open this week. So keep, you know, keep tuned. I was going to say stay tuned, but then I said keep. So I had to keep going. All right, Slifer, let's see. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content, especially this week coming out. Here we go. Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and will it be the Obelisk? Oh, the blue eyes white dragon. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. So you guys can win everything pulled in this video, including these beautiful 25th anniversary secret rares. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.